Hey beer drinkers, I'm Chase from Prairie Artisan Ales and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hope you've been enjoying the cooler temps for this first week of fall as we warm up the fun with another Explore Tulsa. And we start the show with vintage gaming. Then a big celebration in Skyatuck. Followed by history from the gateway to the Osage. Plus look who's in O. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Once again, we are very happy to have you with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. I'm excited too because we're going to check out some great vintage video games from when I was a kid. Video games from when you were a kid? I thought when you were a kid all you did was play with like kick the can and sticks. I'll have you know that my dad bought us one of the first Magnavox Odyssey consoles from Plantoski Furniture Store back when I was a kid. Mmm, what games are on it? All of them. You could play Pong, Hockey, and Tennis. Wow, games have changed a lot since Rocky was champ in the 1970s. So why don't we check in with James at Thrill House Games so he can tell us how gaming has evolved. There are a lot of people who don't know what Pong is, and we get, you know, a lot of kids, of course, who've never seen the Ataris. Um, usually they'll be with their parents. They can, the parents can pass that nostalgia along. This is what I played. This was the first thing I ever played. I really get a big amount of joy out of that. The idea to start this store didn't come alone. I do have a business partner who operates another store in Bartlesville. And that, just shopping there as a customer, reignited my passion for gaming again. And it just kind of carried over from there. When I moved up here, we decided, hey, you know, we should do this. The oldest stuff we have here is gonna be the old Pong machines. Um, and we do sell a few of them, not as much as I would like to, but you know, I'm still happy to have them around. Uh, but on up, you know, the Atari 2600 is really the first one that a lot of people remember and have that nostalgia for. So that's probably the oldest one we have that still sells steadily. The big thing for me, honestly, is that the music was so much catchier in the old games. There was so little you could do, like you really had to have a catchy melody. There's only so many pixels you can have, so you gotta make every one of them count, you know, and art style shows off a lot more in those games, you know. Like you can look terrible or it can look lush and gorgeous, but it takes a good programmer. The biggest way that game consoles have changed throughout the years is the move from 2D games to 3D games. So we just needed more power, we needed more buttons, and as games got more complex, I think the difficulty level kind of dropped down as well. Um, so now, you know, it's my biggest thing with how they've changed is they use discs instead of cartridges, so they're just more susceptible to damage. That's why I love retro so much. I think the 8 and 16-bit games just keep being relevant because they're so simple and fun, you know? Uh, if you give a small child a controller with 16 different buttons and two sticks that click and a D-pad, you know, they don't even necessarily have big enough hands to make use of all that. So whenever you just have, you know, D-pad and two buttons and moving left to right, jumping on Goombas, like it... It's so intuitive and it makes sense, you know, very simple to play, not necessarily easy to beat, you know, and that's the kind of games that I think will hold up better over time. I honestly couldn't tell you how the future of gaming is going to be. It's kind of rocky, like I'm not sure if we'll still have retail discs or if it's all going to go downloads. So you you know, it's very much up in the air right now, but I do think the retro stuff will remain viable, um, you know, once again, because a lot of those games just withstand the test of time so well. Like, you give a kid Mario 3, you know, even if it is, you know, almost 20 years old, it's still instantly fun.
Oh, I had one of those Atari game consoles too. Centipede, that was my game, girl. Oh, well, all right. Good for you, Stevie. To learn more about the games you cherished most from your childhood, visit thrillhousegames.com. Before you know it, it's going to be too cold outside to do anything else but play video games. But until then, there is still plenty of fun to be had, and we'll start with a visit to Skyatook's Pioneer Day. Next, when we return with more Explore Tulsa. Ever since the first movie theaters opened in the early 1900s, man has been trying everything to bring that same experience home to enjoy with their families. And for more than 30 years, Video Revolution and their home entertainment experts have been making those dreams come true by designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use. From 1080p LEDs to the brand new Sony 4K flat panel TVs, or come in to see the latest in sound bars and surround sound setups, Always the top name brands are found at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to your business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. No matter what technology the future holds, you can count on Video Revolution to be leading the way. Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge electronics. Video Revolution on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dagan Heaps, the owner of Impressions in Stone. You're watching Explore Tulsa. Welcome back, and thanks for continuing with us for more Explore Tulsa. Hey, Trish, have you ever been out to Lake Skyatook? Oh, I sure have. We rented a boat and cruised all around the lake. It's really beautiful. Well, next year, you should plan to make it out for Pioneer Day. They have this great parade, a carnival, and even on one of the games, you could win a bunny by throwing a ping pong ball into a cup. Did you win? No, it was like lottery tough, but next year. Let's all join Stephanie Upton and witness the fun for ourselves at Sky Took's Pioneer Day. Pioneer was, they started in um, around 1915 and it was called Progress Day. And as the years went on, different generations, they turned it into Pioneer Day. So here we are at the 2014 Sky Tooth Pioneer Day Festival where we celebrate our past, present, and future. I've been a part of Pioneer Day for 14 years. Um, I've participated in all different activities and now I'm actually the director of Pioneer Day, which I have been for nine years. Some of the new exciting things that we're doing this year is um, a lot of outdoors events. Um, we have a retriever, duck, retriever run where the dogs will um, go retrieve a bumper from the ponds, kind of like they do at the retriever pet shows. So we have a retriever run from four to six and it's out here at the Big Sky Cheek Central Pond. Um, we have duck calls for all the outdoorsmen, kind of like a duck dynasty type of a theme this year. Um, we have a lot of new vendors um, and a lot of new food vendors. And we also, we always have your traditional turkey legs. Bread was great. We had so many floats. And we have so many vendors that we probably have um, 99 vendors actually, I think, this year. So we're, we're very, very excited. We have the carnival rides. We have um, all different contests for all different ages. And that's what we love about Skytooth is that there's something to do for every generation. It's all free, admissions free, parking's free, contests are free, 
and it's a great place to bring your family. People are wonderful. We have people here that set up vendors from different states that have come to our show. We have um, all different vendors from different counties in the state of Oklahoma. So we're very excited to bring them here. Um, one of the things that we try to specialize is in our customer service. We are the only chamber in the state of Oklahoma that has a junior chamber of commerce. And these are high school kids from 9th to 12th grade that come out, they support their community, it's volunteer service, and it's a way for them to give back in, instead of just participating in all the events. It's another way for them to give back and help. They help all the vendors with their needs and um, we're very proud to have them. Everybody has um, a different type of history when they lived here. Um, most of the people lived in like wooden houses and even some teepees and rode horses. And now we have a lot of pickup trucks and um, we're a, a very thriving community and now we've even changed from a town to a city. It's important to our community because we feel like when we're promoting SkyTube in our tourism that it will attract more people to come to a city and we would love to showcase our city and our lake. Skytooth Lake is one of the most beautiful lakes in the state of Oklahoma. Okay, see you later. Skyatook had a great turnout for Pioneer Day. The weather was awesome, the people were friendly and fun too. To learn more about the next Pioneer Day and other events, visit skyatookchamber.com. Now did you know that Skyatook is Cherokee and it could be used to describe a large man or a vast tract of land? Mm, I'm sure we'll learn that and much more when we visit the Skyatook History Museum next with more Explore Tulsa. It's football season and we have a spectacular playbook here at Danny Beck Chevrolet with huge discounts, great rebates, 0%, and our playbook includes excellent customer satisfaction from the friendliest folks in town and the best service after the sale. Find new roads to Danny Beck Chevrolet. Don't be fooled by one of my competitor's trick plays. Remember, always go back for more. Where were you on the night in question? I was in video revolution. They're open till 7, Monday through Friday, 6 on Saturdays, and 5 on Sunday. <laughs> for anyone that can testify to the accuracy of your story? Yeah, yeah! All the salespeople were caring and friendly, and they knew everything about home entertainment, all my home entertainment needs, and from, from HD TVs to camcorders and 3D TVs. <laughs> hmm. The evidence all points to Sony. Choosing Video Revolution for major growth as an Oklahoma independent retailer. Video Revolution even offers a 30-day lowest price money-back guarantee. The facts are evident with features and prices you won't find at a big box store. My investigation is proof positive for the best service before and even after the sale. It would be a crime not to stop by Video Revolution for Seven Hollow Flea Market Village. Shop 16 buildings on three acres, free admission and parkings free too. Open every weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Find us one block east of 71st and Garnett behind the Salvation Army store. Hi, I'm David Warden from Tulsa, Oklahoma and this is Stack Cup, one of the co-owners here in the United States and you're watching Explore Tulsa. If you love to learn about history that's all around us, and you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. That's right, CB. Since 1988, Dr. W.G. Phillips' home and office has been the site of the Skyatook Museum. In there, you'll find all kinds of history mementos, scrapbooks, and an actual steal for illegal brewing and other treasures donated by people of Skyatook to help live out their legacy. started in 1976 in five different locations and we finally came here a few years ago when the house was given to us by Betty Phillips. This was her father's um, home and where he practiced medicine. Well, 
the early day pictures uh, of the early day settlers, um, Indian artifacts that uh, we really don't know where they came from, but they are priceless. We have uh, um, just things that, um, well, the history of our, of our town is here. Mr. Stitt came in with his children. He lives in his uh, uh, his grandparents' home north of Skytook. And his grandparents, now it would be his great-grandparents, um, were the Dawsons were issued the first marriage license in Skytook. And uh, his uncle's picture is on the wall. He was an Olympic runner. He, he participated in the 1936 Olympics. Well, our front room is really our, what we call our Indian room and our, um, the history of Sky Took. It's early artifacts from Sky Took. And, and we have the doctor's room where we have a collection of five or six doctors that practiced here. And they have our military room, which is uh, really good. Uh, uh, uniforms and memorabilia. And the thing that excites little boys is that we have a hand grenade, an old hand grenade in there. The back room is just a collection of different things from household, item, household items mostly. And uh, we have a still in our back room, and I've only seen one other museum that had a still, and this was like a family still where they made their own liquor. Um, and uh, it belonged to um, one of our older members, um, uncles, I believe. But one day there was a man in here, and not long after we'd gotten it still, and he said, uh, he said, my father grew the grain that he sold to this man that, that had this still. And <laughs> so there's always a, the little interesting stories that come out when people see certain things. I like museums. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm, you know, a thousand miles away or Ten miles away, I like museums. I like to see the collections, and uh, and I think other people feel that way too. I love that little museum. One of the most famous mementos has to be the Olympic clothing worn by Glenn Dawson. Yeah, Glenn competed in the 1932 and 36 Summer Olympics, where he ran in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. But in 1932, they actually ran 3,460 meters. The lap counter miscounted. Let them do an extra lap. The race is only supposed to be seven and a half laps. How do you miss counting seven and a half laps? Oh gosh, if you'd like to learn more about the museum and when you can stop by for a tour, visit skyatook.com. I bet Jill Donovan can count the seven and a half. Oh, I'm sure she can count a lot higher than that. You should ask her, Stevie, when we make the Rustic Cup our next stop, just ahead on Explore Tulsa. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 claims to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive to at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Looking for a new home entertainment experience? Well, hi, and welcome to Video Revolution, Tulsa's best in cutting-edge electronics. Professional, highly trained home entertainment experts. Video Revolution's been serving Tulsans for over 25 years with name brands like Sony, Lips, Definitive Technology, Samsung, and so many more. Great selection, price match guarantee, custom installation, expert assistance equals home entertainment success. See for yourself. The Video Revolution showroom features the largest selection of flat panel TVs in all of Oklahoma. Plus, the latest in 3D entertainment. Highly trained home entertainment experts on hand. Professional delivery, installation, and service after the sale. And the best selection of name brands. Visit us online at videorevolution.com and find out more about everything we have to offer. 
Centennial Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. For Seven Hollow Flea Market Village, shop 16 buildings on three acres, free admission and parkings free too. Open every weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Find us one block east of 71st and Garnett behind the Salvation Army store. Hi, I'm Richard Height with Visual Impact, a professional artist and speaker, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. All right, ladies, as you have come to recognize, I'm a true connoisseur of fine jewelry. I'm certain that you've noticed that just by watching Explore Tulsa. Oh, brother, I hope you don't really believe that. But you have gotten lucky finding very talented Tulsans making amazing products. Just like I said, for example, Jill Donovan of the Rustic Cuff featured in the September issue of Oprah Magazine. That's right, Emily Wickersham from NCIS is wearing some Rustic Cuff and looking very fashionable. Wait a minute, what are you doing reading Oprah? It was, uh, it was left in the men's room and I was flipping through the pages. Mm -hmm. Well, I went to law school, which is a great place to start when you want to make jewelry. And um, I went to law school and then I became a divorce attorney and had couple babies and decided I did not want to do that anymore so I became an adjunct law professor at the University of Tulsa and a couple years ago I decided to just took a little sabbatical and stop teaching and when I did I was laying in bed one night and I thought you know what I want to do something creative something totally different than um, my profession and so I thought yeah why not cuffs One thing led to another, and I um, bought, I had, I like spent 200, 200, $250 on supplies just through the internet. Didn't know what to get, wasn't even talking to anybody about this, and had all these supplies come in, and I sat in the back room, which is our guest bedroom, and just experimented. And so a girlfriend of mine um, who worked at Saks here in Tulsa, she asked me if I would make one for her with, she just had a baby, with her daughter's name. So I did and um, gave it to her and she wore it every day. She called me a week or two later and said, I have like over 20 girls, sales uh, associates and customers that want to buy one. And I said, oh no, this is just a hobby. I'm not selling these. And she said, well, you have to set a price because they want to buy one. And so I didn't know anything about setting prices and I just, I think I just said, okay, 30, $38 for them. And so I got tons of orders just from that. I just decided, um, you know, okay, people want to buy these, so I'm going to put my all into it, and it, it becomes, it sort of evolves from the hobby into the business when you realize that um, I knew I couldn't handle it myself. So after a year and a half of being in the guest bedroom by myself and trying to figure it all out, and the money, you know, I would just put it back into the business, I realized one day that, um, that this had grown to the point that I needed a little help. It was bigger than just me in the middle of the night by myself. I had this big whiteboard of everybody that I wanted to see wear a rusted cuff that was in the public eye. And people that I liked, that I would want represent. So I started, I had like Miranda Lambert, um, people on the morning talk shows on NBC, ABC, just people that I watched. And I put all their names up there and then I sat down and I made for each person I made like five custom cups. I did just this Lord Blitz thing and I found places to send them to or I contacted their agent or manager and all at once I sent out like 20 to all these people that I, that I admired. And then I sat back over the next two months and I just waited and would tape the shows or get the magazines and I was looking on the internet and I saw uh, Miranda Lambert wearing one of my cuffs at one of her big concerts in Texas. And then I looked and I saw, you know, the next night she was wearing another cuff. And, and, and she had probably like 20 by this point. And then I started noticing on the Today Show, I would see um, Kathy Lee Gifford wearing it every day, like three or four days a week. And I was like, okay, this is, this is freaky. Because it all just started from me sitting at my computer with, with zero money, no money. And I didn't have to put an ad somewhere and say, and so this was just a really great way to measure whether or not people were liking these. Really, this whole thing has taken a village. You know, if anybody says, wow, are you just amazed at 
how far you've come. And I think really, if, if, I would never have made it this to this point if it would have just been me. I mean, I look around the, I think we have 11 people here who are full time and I think there's, without one of those people, you know, there would be a, like a missing link in what we do or how far we've come. That's an amazing story. From divorce attorney to major jewelry creator, you know, you should do something like that to make us more famous. To find out which of Jill's creations look best on you, visit rusticcuff.com. Stick around, there's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Hi, I'm Terry Farrell here at Video Revolution, and I wanted to talk today a little bit about the new 4K TVs. TVs basically are made up of 1,080 lines of resolution. Each line of resolution has thousands of pixels. A 4K TV is basically doubling those lines of resolution from 1080p to 2160p. It almost quadruples the number of pixels, so we have a crisper, more detailed picture than we've ever had before. You think that regular high definition is good, and it is, but the 4K technology is that much better. The resolution is just incredible. Seven or eight years ago, we would back people up 20 feet from a 70-inch TV for it to look good. Now you can literally sit six feet from a 70-inch TV, a 4K TV, and it just looks incredible. With competition between all the brands, the prices are falling. Eight months to a year ago, you almost paid double for the 4K technology. We carry the Sony, Samsung, Sharp, uh, even have a big 84-inch LG 4K TV. If I was looking to do a custom home system, I would want to build it around a 4K TV because you don't want to have to be replacing something and be backwards in technology. You want to be set up for what's to come. 4K is the way to go, and this is the place here at Video Revolution to come and see a good demo. Be sure and join us next week when we visit the new Hard Knocks. Now Tulsans can go beyond laser tag and have indoor war. We want to thank James Ainsworth for showing us the vintage games he restores at Thrill House Games. Well, thanks too to Stephanie Upton and all those involved in helping out to make Pioneer Day such a great success. And to Benita Collier for teaching us the history behind the gateway to the Osage for the tour of the Sky Tug Museum. Plus thanks to Jill Donovan of the Rustic Cup. Congratulations on being featured in the September issue of Oprah Magazine. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for all your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for a $129 deal with two locations. 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.